Hey guys, it's Christina. So today I have a video on how I keep my glow in the winter time slash fall because obviously you don't go to the beach anymore unless you live like somewhere tropical, which if you do, I'm jealous. But I will show you how I've been keeping up with my self tanner lately and I've been really liking this one. I showed this to you guys a few weeks ago in a haul video when I first got it and I said I would try it out and let you guys know how I'm liking it and if I do love it, I will do like a demo video for you guys. So here I am today. I'm that didn't happen. So here I am today showing you guys what I've been using. So this is the body one. This is the face one. This is from Million Dollar Tan, but this is their new mermaid mousse. I've used Million Dollar Tan before and they had like a spray that I used to use and they also had like a um, airbrush system that I've tried and I've really liked all of those, but this one is my favorite hands down just because the mousse formula has been my favorite. I've done spray tans at the salon. I've done self tanners at home for years and years since I was like 18 and I just turned 26 this month in December. So I have been doing it for a long time. So I can tell you guys that I'm like an expert at it. I can tell you what to do before the spray tan to make it like even, what to do after to make it last longer, what are the best tips and tricks and the formulas. And I've tried the liquid ones, I've tried the gel ones, I've tried the clear ones that turn into a tan. I've tried the towelettes. I've tried everything. Gloves, my hands, sponges, like the airbrush system sprays or whatever, everything. And the mousse has been my favorite, hands down. I've tried mousses from a couple of other brands as well, but this one is my favorite because it gets me dark, but it's not like an orangey sort of color. It's like a reddish brown undertone to it, so it looks more natural, but you can also build it up because it's not like overly tan the first time you do it so you can kind of like customize it that way because if you don't want to be like too too dark like say if you're really fair you can just do it once if you want to layer it like I do do it a couple times like I do it at night for example so do it like a couple nights in a row three nights whatever and then you can get the shade that you want as you can see I'm a little bit darker now than I was a couple of videos ago I looked at some of my videos I was like oh my god I haven't been this fair in a long time I need to do something about it <laughs> and another thing is the smell it smells really good and it smells like a mousse, honestly, there's a like no way to describe it, I don't even know how to describe it, but it doesn't smell like a self tanner. Somebody just like blindfolded me, like one of those Febreze commercials, and it was like, what is this? I'd be like, I don't know. Like self tanner would not be the first thing that I think of. So let me show you, it looks like this. Let me shake it up. And it's like a mousse, like that. And I will do a demo showing you guys how I applied and everything like that. And it did come with two little mitts in this bag right here. So this is the mitt that you use all over your body. And then this cute little one is for your face. But let me kind of rub this in so it's not all over my hand. But this is really, really cute, this teeny one. It goes with the face mousse. And this is in dark. This one is 4 fluid ounces and this is 7.2. And I love the packaging. It's got the palm trees, the heart, and the little mermaid right there. And then it's got a crown on the top. It's really, really cute. And this would actually make for a nice gift as well for like the holidays or someone's birthday or like whatever, anything like that because it's a cute little set. It's from MillionDollarTan.com, which I will link at the top of the info box down below for you guys. So anyways, let me tell you what I do to keep my tan. So of course, before you do any sort of self tanner, you want to exfoliate. You want to make sure you don't have any like dry, rough patches because the self tanner will cling to it. Like for example, knees, elbows, things like that, like feet, whatever. I don't know, but make sure you exfoliate with a good scrub before you do it. Which I also got their body buffer and this is like a shower gel with some exfoliating beads in it. But it's not super exfoliating, so if you need something really, really rough, I would suggest just making your own scrub. Like I have a video on how to make a scrub at home with just some sugar and oil or something like that. But this one I like because it's not, it doesn't leave the oily feeling on your skin like a lot of like those scrubs that I'm talking about do. This is literally like a shower gel of foams and everything like that and it's got these little exfoliating beads in it. And it smells so good. It smells like peppermint. It says Tingy Peppermint Scrub. But it foams so well, you can just use it as a shower gel so you can just scrub your body with this and a loofah and be good. You don't even need a shower gel, to be honest. So I did this first, the same day that I'm going to do the spray tan. And try not to put too much stuff on your body, like, I don't know, lotion or try to go to the gym and be all sweaty and stuff like that. I just wanted my body to be clean. Then what I do is apply the body mousse all over my body before bed with the mitts. 
and do the same thing with the face mousse with the little one and then and by the way these are a different texture to any other mids that I've ever tried I've tried the ones that are like those sort of like foamy textures I don't know how to describe them and then I've tried like the rubber gloves and stuff like that but this one's like in the middle it's not the like those that like always um what do you call it they're always like stain and stuff like that let me go get one and like show you what I'm talking about okay I just went and got it so this is just like an example I have had so many of these but you see how they stain yeah and they're like this weird like foam kind of material so it also rips like because like for example right here so as you can see um, but this material is different I can't even really I don't even know how to describe it it's like a rubbery sort of feel it's like stretchy as you can see um, but it's not like those rubber gloves because those actually make you streaky this actually this rubs it in very well everything is very even and smooth which is what you want and I like that they have sewn the two pieces together all around so you're not going to be getting like the holes in between like with the other one you know what I'm saying so after I'm done rubbing it all in I wait a little bit for it to kind of dry off before I put on my pajamas or whatever before I get into bed so it takes about six to eight hours to fully develop on your skin which is why I like to do it before bed but honestly it's not like super dark where you can't go into public because I've tried some self tanners like that where like they were like literally so brown it was scary looking like I would have to do it before bed and even then my boyfriend my ex-boyfriend was like uh, it looks like you rubbed mud all over yourself like what the hell <laughs> and yeah so this one you can totally put it on and go about your day if you really wanted to do that and not do it before bed also it has a color guide so it's not clear so for example if say you want to tan your legs or something like that for a party that night you know you're wearing a short dress or something like that put on the self tanner and just let it be and it gives you a little bit of glow but eventually it's going to get darker so I just like that plus the color guy helps you sort of see where you're applying it make sure everything's even and you're not missing any patches because I've had that happen before with the clear ones because you can't see like what you're doing really you know and then once it gets dark you see you'll see like patches that you missed and it just looks stupid <laughs> So then once I sleep with it on, I get up in the morning and it doesn't really rub off on my sheets or my clothes or anything like that. And even if it does, like a tiny little bit, like say I'm sweating or something like that, you can just wash it and it'll come right out. It's not going to stain anything. And like I said, I've done like two or three nights in a row where I applied it to get that darker color. And then after that, if you take care of it, it lasts for up to seven days, which for me, taking care of it usually means moisturizing. Um, you want to take care of your tan because you don't want it to start getting patchy and dry. And then you'll see like cracks in between the colors, which looks really bad. Um, once that does start to happen though, once you see it coming off, Take a scrub and just exfoliate that layer off and then you can just go ahead and apply a new layer and get yourself like dark again. You don't have to wait like I, I for example I don't wait for it to go away completely because I don't want to be that fair again. So I just kind of exfoliate those patches that are coming off already and then just apply a new layer that night. And then the last thing that I was really excited about in the set is this shimmer. I showed you guys this whole set on Snapchat and I was talking about this and I was like, oh my god, I'm bringing it on vacation with me because I got this set right before I went to Dominican Republic for my birthday and I was so excited. This is like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. This is their dry oil shimmer. So I'm going to take some of that. Looks like this. And I rub it all over me and look at that glow. Oh my gosh. Do you see that like first of all it makes you darker instantly it's like a bronzer but it's also moisturizing because it's got the oils in it so let me show you the rest I'm gonna put the rest on this arm so you see right there you see how shimmery that is look I'm gonna rub it in look and it makes it instantly shimmery and dark it's so nice it just looks it gives you like that nice glow so you go into a party that night you can just apply some on your arms your decollete right here your legs that will look really good or even if you go into like a pool or beach party apply it all over and you have that nice glow it looks so good everybody's gonna look at you and be like oh my gosh it's glowing just wash your hands afterwards but it's such good stuff I love this right here and it's really really thick which I like because a lot of the like shimmery bronzy glowy oils that I've gotten before they were very runny they were like like a whale but this one is really really thick so I like that because I don't feel like I'm just rubbing like grease all over myself you know it's actually like 
feels like a lotion, like a really thick body cream or something like that, but it just makes you dark and glowing. <laughs> And again, it does not have that spray tan smell, so I like that. So again, my favorite thing is that it's a mousse, so it's not streaky. It's very even, especially when you apply it with the glove. It's also buildable, which I love that. But it's not too dark on the first time, so I can go out in public and stuff like that and not look scary. And like I said, this kit would make for a very nice little gift to somebody. But I do have a coupon code for you guys, so I will list it down below in the info box so you can just copy and paste it at checkout. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review and demo video. Don't forget to check out their link down below. I will also list their social media and my social media if you want to add us on like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, any of that good stuff and be friends. And I will also link my blog where I always list everything I'm wearing. So if you have any questions about like my makeup, outfit, hair, anything like that, nails, jewelry, I don't know. Check out my blog. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So it looks like this. It's a long sleeve dress and then the bottom of it kind of cuts off at an asymmetrical angle. So it's just a comfy, simple dress. You can dress it down with some leggings or something. You can dress it up with some, you know, like thigh-high heel boots and make it kind of sexy, accessorize it or just leave it simple. I thought it was a cute little piece. It was only $15.99 and it also comes in pink 